John's uh, going to help you here. Yes. He's very good at this kind of thing. I, I think I think it's gonna it's it's gonna be called uh, duck. <laughs> <laughs> while you're going to be smashed by an asteroid, okay. and and then you just you do some calculations that no TV host can really keep up with. That basically says within you know somewhere within the next eight years something the size of Texas will actually ironically only hit Texas. So it's just going to be replaced. <laughs> essentially, Texas like essentially is going to hit Texas. And not not only is your theory going to be the size of Texas, the exact same shape and land right on the border. And yeah. Land right on. Yeah. As a matter of fact, it's happened three times. We don't even know it. <laughs> it's like Texas got paved over. It happens at night no one even knows yeah yeah so that's the thing the size of texas but the shape of texas and it's actually going to hit texas and it's not spilling into arkansas or anywhere else it's just pow what else is on and the board so duck y'all yeah duck y'all <laughs> okay all right yeah, and you want a commission if the book starts no. selling no 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 no, you got to save up for your next appearance. Yes, yes. <laughs> I've worked it out, Tom. Too. I know it's the fifteen grand to come on the show and hang out tonight. Yeah. But I thought I'll have lunch with you tomorrow for like thirty five hundred bucks. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, just kind of between us. Yeah. Have yeah. you ever done this before? Have you ever sold a place on the show? No. 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 Well, except for the other well, guy, the other guy did the exact same thing yeah, you're yeah, doing. Yeah. But other than the other guy doing <laughs> the exact same thing you're doing, no, yeah. it's never happened before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. My only goal was to be a better guest than him, so that's oh, my goal. Don't listen. If you would have just belched and passed out, you would have. No, he's a dear friend. He's a dear friend. No, but Tom. I mean, yeah, come on, you're Tom. You're yeah. the Tomster. You're the yeah. Tommyac. Yeah. Once I brought the presents, I knew I could win yeah, you, you over. Tomyac. The- <laughs> he's a Tomyac on the floor, everybody. The Tom Meister. All right, let's take a break. No, what's up, uh, Baba? Caller, uh, female Drew. Mm-hmm. You're 22. Mm-hmm. Drew, hot name for a chick. Actually, it's Andrea, but Drew is my nickname. Still, that's what happens when you're too hot for Andrea. They kick you up to Drew. Huh. Nice. <laughs> what is up? I have no idea. Mm. See, you are good looking, right? Yeah, I'm a fairly attractive woman. Yeah, you could mm-hmm. say that. Mm-hmm. You could say that. All right. And your question? Um, I've had overly large breasts since I was in the sixth grade. Wow. And you have a tough life? Yeah. I've had a lot of stares. Yeah. Not necessarily a tough life, but a lot of stares. And, mm-hmm. you know, now I'm 23, and it's it, my breasts are starting to sag. And mm-hmm. I've noticed a lot of, like, mm-hmm. shoulder pain. And I always thought mm-hmm. that girls that complained of shoulder pain that had big breasts, it was just a bunch of crap because they were, you know, wusses or whatever. But... It really is hurting me, and I don't know if I should get a breast lift or a breast reduction. Well, I, hold on, hold on now. What size? What size are you? I'm like a 38D. I'm really big. I, I am, and and I'm not a big girl, you know, as far as, you know, me being thickness-wise. No. How, how tall are you? I'm about 5'6". How much you weigh? About 135, 145. Uh, uh, so can we do some radio math? Oh, <laughs> we got to do some radio math. <laughs> uh, let, me, let me tell you how the radio math usually works. Usually about 5'6 and 135 will add about 10% on the weight. But when you go 135, 145 now, now we're bumped up into said? the 20% percentile. Yes. yes. Yeah, but doesn't she get a, a, a special deduction for the name? Drew? The hot name, the hot attitude. Yeah, but now I'm starting to wonder. I think she got the name when she was like 15 or 16. All she right. just kept it. So 5'6", oh. 135, 145. Did me, she say that? Yes. Yes, she did. 135, yes, she did. 145? Yeah. You're, you're talking to a uh, streetwise genius right. and the yeah. book smart genius. Right. Let me see. You take the square root of 72, multiply an exponent, right. factor on. out. Hold on. Hold on. Slow, slow down, Einstein. Let me see. Okay, so what was that again, Square Tom? root of 72, 72, and then you take an exponent, and you want to do a factorial, and then you want to... Uh, Mm, you want to divide by 52.6. Hold slow down. 52.6. Do you need to do a natural log in there? Yeah, yeah. You want to log in. Uh, corn log or cheese log? What kind <laughs> of log? Natural log. Natural log. <laughs> I'm going to put corn. Log base E. <laughs> okay. Log. Mm. Uh-huh. And what else? Mm, you want to, and you probably want to square it too, and then um, to the three halves power. Okay, uh, okay, I think I'm almost there. Drew, what's uh, two times three? <laughs> That's Tom. He's about to Tom, two times three? Uh, it's, it's six, six, usually. And, uh, one, usually. Yeah. Okay. Unless you're an imaginary number. Yeah, mm-hmm. imaginary number. Two times three, six, and then uh, one times two. Is that still two? Yeah, still two. So one times, but what's like one times eight? Still eight. That's two? Still eight. That's no, not okay. two, that's eight. Okay, so let me just, let's, you know, just what would be an imaginary judge, numbers? 
Uh, uh, the eyes, yes. Yes. We mm-hmm. just make sure. Square root of negative one. One times four <laughs> is four, but like one times nine is still, is, is nine too? Yes. Or it's four? Yeah. Okay. Just watch four. One, two, three, two, three. Ten plus two is what, Drew? I mean, uh, Tom? Ten plus two is twelve. Oh, okay. Okay. I have uh, five, four, and uh, 13 sixteenths, <laughs> and I have uh, 153. Drew? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that was uh, some of the most elaborate radio math we've ever Makes done. Makes more accurate. On a, on a gal. It's, it's hard to argue with uh, these, this kind of uh, world-class number crunching that's going on in here tonight. So here's uh, what uh, we, would, uh, we would have to say. You can uh, consult the plastic surgeon. Uh-huh. I've talked to uh, plastic surgeons about this uh, many times. There really is no lift. There's, there's not just... there's really a lift, although Dr. Marcel, who's you know usually so coked up I can't understand him when he does the show. Uh, for the first five years I talked to him, he said there's no such thing as a lift. And then uh, last time he was on the show, when someone wanted a lift, I was like, well, you can't get a lift. And he said, no, absolutely, they do them all the time. So <laughs> I have no idea what that he's talking about anymore. The, the the point is is it's probably more reduction than, there, lift, than it yeah. is a lift. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, and you should consult you that. that. But also, I bet if you uh, got down 15 pounds, you might uh, lose some chest size, too. Right, right. That always happens. Okay, right. Well, so there you go. And do that. Right. Some weight, exercise start, more. start there and then, and, then, uh, and then go consult. Yeah? You got it. Thank you. All, All right. right. Okay. All right, baby doll. All right. Well, uh, you know, so when it was we come back, when she when she yeah. started her conversation, she sort of wanted you to be hold for a few minutes. Remember that? Yeah, just yeah, yeah. Of, yeah. <laughs> just to she take got me humbled in. a little. Yeah. yeah. When we come back, we're going to uh, calculate uh, areola circumference with uh, Tom Burbach. Oh, nice. It's going to be yeah, awesome. Thank you. After this. Hey, y'all! It's the Love Line. I'm Adam. It's Doctor Drew. Our uh, dear, 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 dear friend Tom is uh, here. He's uh, donated uh, quite a lump to the uh, Tsunami Relief Fund. And uh, what a, uh, how liberating it must be to be like Tom. Drew, mm-hmm. yeah. Drew look at you in your gilded yeah. cage trap. I actually trap. was able to take it off my taxes. So I saved about 4000 in taxes because I donated the money. But the problem is I'm 99% sure I'm going to be audited my, because my donation went from zero to 15000 So I think that puts up red flags red with the flag. government. With yeah. the government so. yeah. Uh, yeah, they got to look out for your type. <laughs> Lick snake oil salesman. Yeah, we've seen your type. All right. Drew, I want to talk to Bernice, who I think called last week. Yep. Bernice? Yeah. Okay. Did you call us last week? Yes, I did. And, you were uh, driving around drunk her, with her, your teacher. Let me see if I can, uh, I'll have to give you my powers of uh, recollection. Uh, teacher from your school mm-hmm. uh, wanted to do, meet you outside about uh, 4, four, four a.m. Yeah. and uh, plied you with a little booze. I guess you, um, then uh, you passed out. And when he woke up, it was about noontime, and he was driving around with you in the car. Uh, you think he gave you a roofie. Yeah, and I was remembering what you told me about how alcoholics are prone to blackouts. So. That and, and that and the fact that you drank certainly enough to cause you to, to not just blackout, but pass out. You don't, yeah. you, don't need the, the, you don't need the roofie to make your story complete. Mm, I think. Yeah, no, here, here, let me just clear it up for everyone. We have a lot of people say, uh, I, I know a guy slipped me a roofie, and it's like, what happened? Well, it was St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> I drank a pony keg, and then I uh, did a couple of, um, I did a couple of anal funnels full of uh, <laughs> grain alcohol, and then I passed out. I'm yeah. pretty sure he gave me a roofie. Right, right. You, 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 right. Uh, and I'm 14, I weigh 38 pounds. That's right. Yeah, that's that's a, right. No, no, no. no you, you drank. You drank, and it's not... What he did isn't any better, but you don't need it. You drink a bottle of Jack, you don't need a roofie. Yeah, don't get around. I wouldn't go go down the roofie path so much. It's not as important as the fact that even just that the guy met you at four in the morning, drove with you in his car, yeah, so, and and gave you a substance. And he was a teacher at your school, right? Mm-hmm. Were you molested before? Or? 